They got barbecue ribs in jail? That's the best jail I've ever seen. We have Act 3. Let the party most thorny. Turn to Spina de Rosa. Uh, base in Corte Fontaine. Another serial disappearances case have been dissolved. You decide to rest up for a while, but something is stirring in the dark. So we left off on a pretty high note, right? We left off. Oh, well, no, never mind. <laughs> Child's in jail. But besides that, it was pretty good. Hmm. Now that the serial disappearances case has been solved, no one's going to come after us for anything. Even without Silver standing guard, we can just completely relax. Why don't we stay and rest up here for a while? Uh, just don't spoil the ending for me this time. Me, me. Then it's Oh my gosh. My ears. <laughs> that can buy with the echo was so loud. <laughs> oh my god. Paimon didn't expect that style at all. My you ears are bleeding. Novel? It's also like a social documentary. Oh, <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Excuse me, but do you know if the Traveler and Paimon are lodging here? Nope, they're not here. They're back in Sumer. Huh? Who are you? Paimon doesn't recall seeing you before. Wait, you're not here to give us trouble, are you? A blonde traveler and a chatty little fairy. <sighs> Looks like I found the place. Did you not I get that? Di Rosula. Seems they sent me the right way. From looking at us? It's an honor to meet you both. I was sent from the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nourilette wishes to see you. It seems he has something important to discuss in person. His feelings. Nouvellet? He wants to see us again already? Did she say Nouvellet and not Nervellet? I am not privy to the details. It would be best if he came to the Palais Marmonia and asked Monsieur Nourilet in person. Oh, nope. Come on. Mm, if you say so, but... Hyman has a bad feeling about this. <sighs> now that I've delivered the message, I'll take my leave. I will take my leave. So the star is shining in the depths. That was like the most casual start in a while. Just talking about just reading books. Hey! We're here. Why were you just standing there? You daydreaming or thinking something over? Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next. I still have some reservations. God, you can hear the bass in his voice. Given that we've already made the trip here, you should just tell us. Bet you need us to help you with something, right? I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do. However, you should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. The situation <laughs> is this. A while earlier at the Palais It's come Memoria. to my attention that the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Knave wants a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? Oh, shoot. I thought you were... Okay. Oh, this is earlier. Oh, I gotcha. I was like, what the heck just happened? Well, uh, looks like uh, Arlecchino has arrived. So she wants to have a conversation with Farina. Okay. I heard that she was originally from Fontaine. But for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this. When was Nouvellet a part of Fontaine? Because if she's from Fontaine, I feel like they would know of her presence. Maybe she was from Fontaine as a kid. She left. I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Hmm. Are you even having a second thought, Freena? I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. If I was Freena, I'd be like, no. Nope. We convicted one of the Snezhnayan Harbingers in a court of law, but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. Oh, I see. I was going to say, because there shouldn't be any problem uh, with just arresting somebody. But no detailed report. That would cause some problems. But I mean, he's, he's a harbinger. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. He almost destroyed every single person in Leeway. No, 
We shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Oh. <laughs> oh? Well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating. Right? That's true. It's like... Like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends, as you did in your example. No. It was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations, but a complete falling out. It really is like Nuvola is the Archon, and Farina is the assistant. Hmm. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. Ahem. Even if the logic of the Divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. Mm hmm I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. Well, you're doing it right now. But more importantly, when did I agree to join the meeting with you? <laughs> No, 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 that, that won't do. <laughs> I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. Jesus. I take you with me. Lady Farina, could there be something else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? This is already good. No, not at all. Look, I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Thosalor. The god of justice who is loved and adored by many. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. You still didn't say yes. <sighs> Time for the meeting with the Denai and Lady Freena assisted upon arrives. <gasps> it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference. I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. There she I is. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina. <laughs> oh, the fourth? Oh, I thought she was going to be the tenth. So that means... Wait, what? I thought she was going to be the tenth for sure. So that means Capitana was the tenth? What? Wow, I did not see that coming. I really thought she was going to be the tenth. Well, she's a lot stronger than I thought she was. I thought she was all like brains over brawn. No, apparently she's both. <laughs> she's both a pair of. Fourth, wow. Lady Farina. Dang, her hair is a lot more dark than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. <laughs> they look delectable. Farina and Arlecchino could not look any more opposite. The <laughs> red and blue. Yeah, so Capitano is 10th. That is, I mean, based off of what Tartaglia said, I felt like he was going to be the fourth one. I thought there was no way that she could have been that high up, but I mean, not, no, there's no way I'm, th I'm not judging her strength, but I, yeah, I just thought it was going to be the other way around and like 10 with the X, you know, 10, I thought it made sense to make hmm. this tea party even more lively. I've invited someone else to join us today. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillette. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Eudex to me. She's just so... just. Hello. 
The pleasure is also mine. Hello. First, I would like to thank the two of you. God I'm dang. I'm away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. The, the eyes, man. It's just it's jarring. Uh, oh. I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. <laughs> Please don't misunderstand. Look at this line in the middle, too. It's like the sitcom. Oh, I'm not talking about, you know, my two children that you falsely accused and almost threw in jail. Oh, not them. Surely. The children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood. Perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. Oh, and you hear the music too? The music is the... Going back to when she walked in. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years. The people are well off and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. I guess. That is something truly worth cherishing. And no one wishes to disrupt such peace. <laughs> now then. You have come regarding the matter of child, correct? Man, that was an immediate reveal for Alakina. Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nouvellet doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. I cannot believe this right now. Yes, as you surmised, understanding child situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. Are those like contacts? Like, what's going on? As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya, as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. <laughs> Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. Really? I'm surprised about that one. Is that just how Harbingers work, or is that just you and Tartagal? So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine and resolve what has happened to him together. Sending him to Snezhnaya to be free or sending him to their jail center? The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. I can't new let trying to follow the rules, but you threw him in there without knowing anything. Like, it's already jank. An outright refusal. Very well. I respect all the rules of Fontaine's courts, just as I respect you as Chief Justice. It is, like, just so menacing, that face. Okay. Why don't we back up a step? You don't need to transfer child to us. I only request to enter the fortress of Meripede to see child and confirm his condition. It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina? The drip, the earrings. Uh, um, about that. Is that Gia? No, that was Pyro. The okay. fortress of Meropede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there, and diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. Let the orange for a second. Hmm. Well, I mean... Hmm. However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal... And that leads back to us. And they've showed up already? Well, Linny did say that Father will be returning soon. We didn't even know that Linny was from the House of the Hearth at the time, so we kind of overlooked that information. Hmm. Be careful, Nouvellet. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. I'm well aware of the situation. I also noticed that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the Knave. I mean, I would be too. Could the knave be threatening Lady Farina or something? Turns out Farina was also a part of the House of Hearth. No. If that were the case, 
And why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? And what means could the knave possibly have to twist the arm of an Archon? Uh, attacking her? Hmm, so maybe that's not very likely. Even though Farina can act a little weird at times, she's still an Archon. In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. According to reports from the Fortress of Meropede, Child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Huh? Why, this read the prison? The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out Hello? his escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the Fortress of Meropede. Who let him escape? Special guards oversee the fortress, and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding oh, terrain, God. escape should not be possible. I suspect that there's something else behind Child's disappearance. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child, and it is my duty to see justice done. We shouldn't be, but we are. So this is what you wanted to see us about before. How the... Nah, ain't no way he escaped. Isn't the Fortress of, Meso uh, Fortress of Meripede literally underwater? Like, encaged? Yes. I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meropede and investigate Child's disappearance. Oh, so she wants to go and see his state, but Child is not even there. This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, I offered to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. Oh gosh, Nuvala. Oh no. The Knave did not seem satisfied by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, We will talk more once we have that report. So mm. that means we bought ourselves some time! Where do you want us to go? Wouldn't it be more convenient to have the official from Fontaine do this? Firstly, you're already acquainted with Child. Your eyes may discern relevant details there that others would miss. And secondly, is the consideration of the unique nature of the Fortress of Meripede. Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? I would not define it so crudely. The Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system of Fontaine on paper. It has always existed as an autonomous entity. You're telling me the jail center doesn't comply with the courtroom? I mean, I guess it wouldn't, but I guess once you get sent off the jail you're in jail now that's a whole different thing early in fontaine's history criminals were punished with exile not imprisonment even today sentences against convicted criminals still include exile just as before the fortress of meripede may seem like a prison but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles an insane asylum all we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. Like Arkham City? Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there, neither myself nor the courts have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the grounds. Oh, Paimon gets it hmm. now. That's why you need us to conduct our own investigation as a third party, right? Correct. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress during your detention. This will save us a lot of unnecessary trouble. Yeah, but then we have a record on us that we did something wrong and we didn't. I don't know if I like that. So, are you two willing to accept my proposal? No, why are we so nice to Child? He's a criminal. Since you're, you're into the... Since you're in such a tough spot. Yeah, no matter how you look at it, it seems we're the best choice. All right, we hereby accept this difficult task. Uh, reluctantly. The mean? Anywhere? Oh, okay. You two have my sincere thanks. This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. Also, I hope that both of you can keep this operation a secret. We will rendezvous at the Fortress of Meropede's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. Erinaeus. We'll arrange for someone to take you inside. Prepared ourselves? Uh, is there something we need to prepare? 
Get an R5 Jade Cutter and artifacts. Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. I'm afraid that living conditions inside the fortress are nothing like those on the outside world. The realization. Uh, on second thought, it's a too late to back out. <laughs> what do you agree, Paimon? Just accept it. Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality of life for the sake of delivering this report, you will be compensated according to the highest standards permitted to legal staff, regardless of the outcome. What does that mean? Hmm? It's not how it works. Are you leaving now? In that case, please take this cake as a token of my personal gratitude. Huh? Birthday cake? Where's the cake? It's gone. Oh, no need to thank me for it. Just be sure to enjoy it. Oh, okay. Two nouvelettes. Well, that was pretty darn quick for Arlequino. To see that the whole number reveal and everything. I don't really think we're going to have any altercation with Arlequino at all. I think she's very... Professional. Adding like a little, adding like one thing every patch. That cake was pretty good, but as soon as Paimon remembered that we're about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely empty. <laughs> now that Paimon thinks about it, we've always been super careful ever since we arrived in Fontaine, just to avoid breaking any strange laws here. But here we are. You already did. Quickly once we get there. Paimon doesn't want to stay in prison too long. Said every person ever. Charlotte. Oh, what is that? Oh, what the heck? A taste of a breaking story. Hey, you can't hear a taste. And what are you doing here, Charlotte? <laughs> this is what she just say. You can't hear a taste. I invest with Charlotte. So. Oh, don't remind me. I invited an eyewitness to a case what? to eat here. I was planning to get some great material out of him, but he didn't even show up. Or did you say case? Ah, oh, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. <laughs> as long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. You sound like a whole different person at first. Charlotte. <laughs> uh, never mind. It's nothing. I just heard you mention the fortress of Meripede. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Not yet. Tell me all about it. I really like Charlotte. No way! We would never! We're just going there to... Uh, ahem. Or at you. Uh, um... To... Check out the scenery. Surely. Oh, no. Pinot almost forgot that Nervalette told us to keep it a secret. They're terrible at secrets. We want to serve our senses and redeem ourselves for spoiling the ending of the detective novel in public. Huh? You're being arrested for that? Yes. Oh. Well, but now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unreasonable. That's pretty despicable. Almost as offensive <laughs> as committing theft. Oh. Dang. You mean Pima really did something that serious? See, I told you. Sorry, Paimon really messed up. Uh, well, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. All oh, right, there's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Meripede, would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? Um, about that, uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have any time. Look at Lumine's like, yes, and she's like, no. It's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the warden of the fortress. 
Risley? He was awarded the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, huh? Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. On top of that, the Fortress of Meripede has never been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody, including journalists like me, knows anything about the person in charge there. Really? Oh, if I could write an exclusive article about him, I bet it would Bible. sell a boatload of papers. That's all she cares about. You make it sound easy, but it really depends. Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. Smart. All right, you got a deal. We'll do anything you want. <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? My mom's face. Wait, just how much did you order? Oh. Dang. I don't some of yourselves. You prepare to go to the Force of Merrifield. Oh, so cool. Well, guess we have nothing to regret now, so let's get going. Hmm. Uh, wait. Pyra just said something really ominous, didn't she? Yeah, you sure did. I had no idea you could eat so much. That didn't go according to plan. Please, please, don't forget about the material for my news article. I gotcha. Dang, that looks cool. I've only ever seen this at like nighttime. <laughs> so this is somehow gonna lead to the actual fortress. All right, Novak, we're ready. Is this where the entrance is? You have come, just as promised. Yes. This is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Not true. Careful. You may want to step back a bit. Or from Erinaeus? Okay. Whoa! So you have to go down from here? Is the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and guard criminals. But do not worry. Makes it's sense. not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. You will see for yourselves once you are down there. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Ridesley. He's a very Ridesley. shrewd fellow. <laughs> He's that Duke, right? Duke, 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 Duke of War. Correct. War, war. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. Even though you are going there to investigate at my behest, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. The Duke rarely ever leaves the Fortress of Meripede, but that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the fortress. He is quiet, but not unaware, so please mm. bear that in mind. He knows. I'll keep that in mind. All right. That's about all the time that we have to talk privately. I'm counting on you two. Don't worry. We won't let you down. So what exactly was our crime? Good. <clears throat> Madeline. I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest <laughs> convicts, I presume? <laughs> Don't worry, they won't escape on my watch. Monsieur Chouvelis. <laughs> like we would try. Shush, my mom, Please shush. Please you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the fortress of Meripede. We're filthy criminals, so they'll play the part. Continuing the current quest may cause parts of the following quest to become occupied. Progress cannot be made to occupy quests. Continue this quest, you can choose to continue the quest and quest menu. Sorry, world quest. Hopefully that's possible to do later. So... Oh. Guess that was wrong. I thought the forest of Mary Pete was over here. Huh. Interesting. I could have sworn. Well, then I've I've seen nothing yet. Then I thought it was over there. You, 
Madeline. Why'd they make you make the trip down here today? This sounds so like over this. Monsieur huh. Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. He should have like told you you were in on it. Nah, maybe not. <laughs> well, now, aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. The only people I get to see every day are the new inmates. Well, have you tried service with a smile? <laughs> Who knows? It might help your professional reputation. <laughs> True. Yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? Like, hey, you'll be in uh, cell A over there. Happy day to you. And even if I did smile at them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. Oh, she's got a point. Well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here, and Marette will guide you through the remaining procedures. Hey, welcome to prison. How you doing? You'll be on cell B. <sighs> yep, I'll take it from here. You head on back to that bright and sunny world above. Dang, stuck down here. Okay, let me see. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? It's Lumine. That would be us! Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. You two are charged with... Stealing ice cream from the ice cream shop. Eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. Sentence... 45 days? Eating a cake specifically prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan uh, envoy without the Archon's permission. Huh? Huh? How dare you? Wait, you mean the cake that Nervalet gave us was... Just looking at the charges, it seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. No, we're not. We ate a cake. And considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, this crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon herself. How? How does that compare? Okay. No, he really knew that did debate, debate me. Absolutely did. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, we still need to finish. Now you've seen everything? And enter the Fortress of Maripede. Ain't no way. Please stand in front of the board over there. I'll take your mug shots with my camera. Oh, all right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. What good side? And smile. I guess not. Nope. I like how it's actually. <laughs> Hands on the hips. Nice. How tall are people here? That's a good question. Not tall enough. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. Look how everybody sounds like, oh, here we go again. Huh? Rebirth? Isn't that a little much? We're only going to be here for 45 days. Rebirth? You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. Deacon. Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. Deacon. Want a boat? Where are we going? Oh, we're probably, we're probably going to where I thought it was. Yeah, we gotta be in the new area. Because there's no way that this the old spot was where it is. So, are you one of the guards here? Um... Is there anything we should be careful of while we're here? Don't make any small talk. Small talk. Don't know, Wald. Uh, did Paimon already ask something she wasn't supposed to? Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? You still don't seem like a guard. Why should you bring us here? Oh boy. 
This is exactly why I can't stand you fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. What do fish have to do now? Let's <laughs> check. Credit coupons? Alright, seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. The next time, it'll cost you some coupons. He actually thinks we're fish. Mora means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Coupons can get you almost anything in the Fortress of Meripede. Desires? Fulfilled. Hmm. You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. You know, you would think coupons would just cost... Or coupons would bring down the price within Mora, but the coupons are the actual currency. Everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside the Fortress of Meripede. You have to start over and earn your coupons. Ooh. Yikes. Everyone starts from the same place. And you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. <laughs> less terrible. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. A less bad life. true fairness and true justice. A little, a little less awful. And this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world, even after they've served their sentence. Dang. That's, that's deep. You, you basically earn a new life in the Fortress of Meripede. So you basically don't want to have to start over again when you get it back out. Oh, so that's what the Fortress of Meripede is like. Huh. Paimon was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. Hmm. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here, but it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. So all you care about is Mora. Wait, no. Coupons? Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. Let us go for free? We're free! Let's immediately start wrecking havoc. We're free! I like this, like, rock. This, like, subtle rock in the background. So now we're, this is an elaborate way to get to a jail cell. Where are the handcuffs at? Like, where are the handcuffs or, like, the restraint? Like, nothing? Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. If we're discovered, even Nevelette might not be able to rescue us. If we ever get found out, we may become real criminals. Hey! Uh, look, I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but you wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? Uh, someone important? Mm -hmm. Paimon doesn't think yeah. so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so you just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so... Why? What? Good luck. Somebody could... I mean, I guess we're underwater, but, like, this what is so... What all about? Uh, wait a second. Are there usually so many garden racks around here? They're doing the shuffle. This is, like, the most freest... The most free jail I've ever seen. They're already on to us? Get ready to fight. Huh? Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Oh. oh, no need to be anxious. These guard mechs aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. Is he choking himself? Why does he have like things around his, like wrapped around his neck? <laughs> What's going on? We did the, uh, the coolest cry. We ate the Arkansky. <laughs> when I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Nervillette, I had the guard mechs come and wait in formation. Look at him. Wait, you know about our connection with Nervalet? The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. He sounds a lot more friendly than he sounded in the trailer. Maybe he was like 
on the offense in the intro era, that's why. But yeah, he sounds like very different now. And as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here. Even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. So you must be Duke. The, the Duke? Uh, greetings, Your Grace. L lovely weather today, isn't it? Huh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you say it is. <laughs> well, that he would know. <sighs> How great it would have been if only the fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Ah, my profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you, I just... So this is the Duke. He hmm. sure looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. The Traveler and Paimon, correct? Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? This is the nicest jail I've ever seen. What is going on? It was okay. His attitude could use some work, though. Take great care of us. Splendid chap. Outstanding. Well, Deacon, I recall we discussed fate during our last work meeting. Hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work and life seriously. I guess it's not a jail. They said that they said it was like a place of exiles, but still. Hmm. Other music here, but prepare to hear it a lot, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very quiet, though, at least. Very subtle. When you return to your bunk, you'll find the guards have issued some extra credit coupons to you. Or it's probably quiet because we're in dialogue, but... Oh, you got some new credit cards. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. If you need anything in the future, anything, please come find me anytime. No credit coupons necessary. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. We've already taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take my leave now. <laughs> if you would leave. If you would uh, get yes, out of here. Follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. Uh, I wish I got to play as, like, other characters in the, um... Our conquest, like the story quest. Rio Thiesley. That's what we thought it was a while back. The Copper Keep. Or I was calling I was calling him Rio Thiesley. But turns out it's not not even Risley, it's Risley. Oh, and he's also not blind yet, yeah, <laughs> Confirmed not blind. He's not There's blind. no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? We're real criminals, you know. What if we're <sighs> too difficult to handle? We're real criminals. What is with everyone having, like, a magical floating jacket? Well, then, maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? Like, how is that jacket on him? But, before you go in swinging, please remember that in the Fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. Now, we've arrived at a very important place, the Coupon Cafeteria. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. What's the meal? Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so you must guarantee that they at least have the basic needs <laughs> to survive. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. But that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water here. We got Risley and Wosley. Wosley? I think he has straps around his, oh, around his shoulders. For fish like you who just arrived with nothing, you have to go to work hungry until you so call me fish. to eat. It was only after his grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Hey, look, it's all those other NPCs. Now everyone gets a square meal every day, 
Even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. In the fortress of Meripede, credit coupons oh, are the see. only currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. Hmm. The way his hair is, like, designed, it kind of looks like he has cat ears. If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. That would only make things more difficult for me. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions in the fortress of Meripede. Do you get like, get like a set amount when you start? Your grace's reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Greetings, what can I do for you? Look, it's a brand online. We found him. I'd like a welfare meal, please. Enjoy your meal. Oh, shoot. We got one. Welfare meal from a coupon cafeteria as it's free. Whoops. Uh, there's an element of surprise and risk. What is it, even? It's just like slop? A fork, a spoon, and like a tray of... Oh, it's pop teas? And a fortune slip? Two sets, or two small sets is better than one big step. So a leeway tea, a leeway food. I wonder what my dear Weird. sister Lynette is doing right now. <laughs> Missing me to death, I'm sure. I guess it's like tea and a fortune slip. Oh, they got food out the way. Hold on, they got trout. They got barbecue ribs in jail. That's the best jail I've ever seen. <laughs> Coffee. Uh, haggies. Yeah, like, how you get to eat this in jail? That's... That's the present. We got Fanta barbecue ribs. We got cake in jail. Oh, you got everything here. Oh, I have no coupons. Type of currency only use the first recipe. Okay. Oh, so you can only get these recipes if. Oh, wow. Interesting. I think I've actually heard of that. This place is known as the Pancration Ring. Pancration work. Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Their daily work alone isn't enough of an outlet for them. So, instead of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Pancration matches? It's and like a... earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interested? It's like a combat zone. But I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. Yep. Uh, seems you know me too well. So, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees Stonks. are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask? used for sure ensuring personal safety maintaining the arena and resolving any conflicts that arise why are you interested in how to manage a pancreation ring it's a very well organized uh, prison oh no no i'm always just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone's welfare meals a reasonable guess i see you have a talent for entrepreneurship oh you hear that Paimon has a talent no you Can don't <laughs> That is something you can discuss between yourselves later. Let's move on for now. We're getting a tour of this place. Like, ain't no way. We don't get to get tours of the jail. This is almost as if. Hmm. I was gonna say, it's almost as if, like, 
this is the place you'd go to if the rest of your life was going to be in jail. Well, this place, they don't seem so bad, honestly, so far. Seems pretty, uh... Rochelle loudspeaker. Seems pretty nice so far. It's apparently a floor above me where everything is. Oh, and he is there. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was going to be more edgy. I thought he was going to be like... Uh, oh, is this where the cutscene was? There was two seats. Uh, you're, you're great. Fitzroy. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. Nice. No, wait. What time is it again? What time indeed. Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah, my, my apologies, Your Grace. Jeez, that guy's so nervous, he almost forgot to breathe. <laughs> I didn't know uh, Risley's history. Why is everybody, like, either the biggest fan ever or terrified? <sighs> Sorry, forgive my manners. What is going on? These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. Or they're just insane. In the fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, mm. you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Oh, I get it. Okay. I mean, if you don't work, you don't get coupons. That's on you. The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. It all works by itself? As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Oh. Yeah. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, but also a giant machine factory. I mean, if everything is done by itself in the Gardamax, then what do we do? There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. Well, I guess there's always something that a human could do better. Hey, I thought that was me for some reason. What are you doing in jail, Lenny? <laughs> Hello? Oh. oh, uh, you really scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here, uh, your grace. <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. <sighs> oh, what? Uh. <laughs> what? The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. How did you... I thought we resolved everything. Oh, is something the matter? No, not at all. No, nothing. Uh, no, that is. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Finally, nothing. Worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> how in the world did you end up here? Maybe it's like something on purpose. I mean, he was just strolling along, you know, just walking. He seemed to be too scared. Maybe he's used to it? Hey, it's just gone, too. Oh, oh, Hydro! Oh. I thought it was a mozzie uh, from afar. <laughs> at a time like this. Oh, oh no, you didn't injure yourself, did you? Oh, that is so... Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siegeween. Siegeween? Gosh, I've butchered everyone so far. Oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Sounds like... Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Siegeween here is the Fortress of Meripede's head nurse. Oh, yeah, we knew that, yeah. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the 
a head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. Really? There's no one else? Also, what are you? Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Huh. Sasuke. You're a mausoleum? You look like a human? Tell me who is your father. Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. Yeah, I like her design. There's like a lot of bows in places that bows wouldn't go. Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Mm. Hydro, huh? She has, she has like a tail? Is there like a floating thing behind her? Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Hydro, huh? Hmm. Uh, well, this is our first time here. Paimon's not sure what to ask. You know what? I was thinking she could be, be like a healer, but then again, who knows? Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You can't just assume, like, oh, she's a nurse, so she'll be a healer. And then she comes out and she's a DPS. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. Maybe she is like a mulzine. She has the horns. And some kind of like circular tail. No, they're gone. That was interesting. Yeah, I guess that was her design. Yeah. She looks so out of place. What do you think of the food? <laughs> Does it meet your expectations? There's like a bunny on her gloves. Wow, it looks delicious! Bag it. Some of it made it sound like living conditions in the fortress of Meripede wasn't nope. very good. Who would have guessed that criminals get to eat tasty food like this every day? Hmm. You can TP from oh, Rizzi's office. That's good. The main thing, or the main thing is that the food is free. I mean, you need a coupon still. Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Seems like you two are quite fortunate. It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Hmm. Oh, you mean the meals are random? Yes. What you get to eat depends completely on your luck. Oh no. I could say that it's a. Uh, Distasteful little game that Chef Walsey likes to play here in the cafeteria. Oh no. Gotcha food in the gotcha game. Ugh. I'm a knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would skyrocket for sure. <laughs> uh, um I mean actually she has a point. If somebody's poor, like on the streets of Fontaine, they might just commit a crime just so they can eat food. Just now? No. I'm wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? Get rid of that R. He seems healthy no matter how you look at him, but he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. She's like a fairy or something. What? I'm so confused. Like a bunny mixed with like a fairy with. Oh, maybe the, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're like. No. It was also like bunny ears, but she does have like a bunny on her glove, so maybe maybe she is that. Maybe she's like a bunny. That's like definitely like a bunny tail. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuin. Oh, that's good. But yeah, I, I guess bunny. It's been too long since I've heard any news about him. Actual character bunny. No news is good news. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. I'm gonna use that. Hmm? But isn't the fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Edge. 
Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. Monsieur Nivellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. Oh, we've had plenty of words to say to Monsieur Nivellet. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. Seems to be a lot of that going around. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. After this, you two will just be inmates here. <laughs> Wait, what? I understand this we have hospitality. I thought he was saying like he was in on the the fake crime. You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. Well, for at least forty-five days. Maybe something like, "Hey, I have my eyes on you, so don't try anything funny." Why is she speaking like she just plugged her nose? Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nivellet empty-handed and say, The dude looks scary, so we gave up. Uh, and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nervalette, right? So, we at least need to try. But, Herman hmm. hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. There was one more important thing. You mean... Oh, yeah, I went, yeah. I literally was saying that, like, a second ago. Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking, too. Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. <laughs> hey, Lenny, how you doing, man? Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Lenny as just another inmate. We worked so hard to help clear Lenny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and bam, he's in prison anyway! That's actually... Very true. If I had to guess, I'd say he's here for the same reason we are. Oh, right. Lenny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the Knaves, so they could be here to investigate too. The thing is, Lenny was there, but Lynette wasn't. So, what's going on there? Huh? Oh, it's a card. I didn't notice it earlier. He knows. Mm, it looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? What time? It was nice to Whoops. both see you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's written like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Paimon thought he'd write something important. This proves that he's up to something too. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's. Hmm. Hmm. Act one completely pointless. <laughs> no. Hey, you're finally awake. Yeah, I've got the the uh, dissolving waters, primordial waters. You're up early, Paimon. Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. <laughs> nope, that, you didn't wake up. That was real. Maybe. Hey, lazy bones. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Didn't we get up early? <laughs> uh, sorry, we're going right away. Hello? Who's that? Once the widget is hot enough to blow, jump to step on the hmm. pedal and. So if the machine gets oh. jammed, you just need to attack it to fix. Got it. Okay, you got this. Simple okay. enough. Hey, over here. <laughs> they just like literally take his model and just like do this with it. <laughs> Oh, you scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? Okay, he still talks the way he does. Well, you little... In this scenario. The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. 
Okay, wait. Oh, Lynette. Hey, you. okay. You I was going to say, where is Lynette? That's right. My brother <laughs> simply can't stand to be away from me. She's like, oh. Uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremine is also here. Do you still remember him? Who? Oh, you mean that diver <laughs> from the House of the Hearth, right? Pyro remembers seeing him in the Court of Fontaine before. Can somebody get him out of the water so you can actually be in the quest? Now hurry up and tell us. How did you end up as criminals this time? We fought so hard at court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle was for nothing. Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. Why? My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, having assisted him in his crime. So you guys are not investigating, and you actually are in jail. <sighs> It really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. Well, I don't know about that. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. <sighs> Leave it to Lenny to magic himself into prison. <laughs> to magic himself, that's a verb. Question is, what is he really doing here? Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. No more secrets. Surely. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. Okay, so it is. So it's all about the Gnosis again. Yeah, they were like, let's not give it to Farina, because that thing will be that thing will be gone in no time. They saw Farina and was like, eh, no. Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? Bingo! The name has been applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. Uh Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? No, nope, it's too late now. <laughs> You don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Master Child's? Father used the situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Almost like a bargaining chip. Hmm? Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. You think so, mate? <laughs> it looks like a coupon for every fish who said that. Seems you fish Stop calling me fish. from your life up on the surface. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. Hmm. Got some advice for us? Uh, old timer. Oh gosh. <laughs> I like your attitude. I can uh, let you in on a little something. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Huh? Hidden rules? you mean not everyone knows about those rules but whether you know them or not once you break one you might encounter something even worse than death disappearance really oh now you're really scaring poor paimon don't joke around like that is this the same dialogue before i have some uh have some more advice for us old time of course and i'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then Child's disappearance might have something to do with that? Uh, in that case, hmm. would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. 
Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? Well, we got 30 coupons. Freeman understands, but we don't have many credit coupons yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. <laughs> don't drop the soap, it's the only hidden room. Oh, that, that's, that's a given. Uh, so Paimon just confirmed with the guards that our shift is set for every morning, and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. They weren't kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything here. That's all that they're working so hard for them. It's not like we can really do anything else. Welcome to reality, Paimon. Hmm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. And cutscene. Wait, actually? Wait. It's, high, it's child's vision. How are they disappearing? Where are they going? I hear someone calling me. Hmm. Why is she so excited over there? Oh, we're fighting. What is going on? <laughs> hmm. Is that like our dream? Are you awake, traveler? Wait, we're child, aren't we? Hmm? Oh, no. What's wrong? <laughs> you seem to have something on your mind. Did you dream about something last night? I dreamed of a child. Are they in the dream? Oh, I see that's what we were. Okay, so we were a child. Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours. Do you know where child went? Mm, huh. No. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. Back to work. There, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work. Shift so mates. Come over and say hi. Speaking of new faces, did we ever have someone like a with a beard like that? I don't remember that. I've been working here for almost fifteen years. Even the foreman oh. Grainville always calls me chief. Fifteen years. Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. The conditions are in this case are you work continuously in the production zone for three days. And if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Oh, so this is the tra trailer part. Something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? You mean, even you have never tried working three days like that before? What, like three days non-stop, no rest, no nothing? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, he disappeared into thin air, as if he'd mm. evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. So their memory was gone too? What the? How could that happen? Did you ever see him? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Hmm. Wait. Are you thinking that it was. Huh? 
We'll give it a try. Oh? You... Listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Now we have to know. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? It's a good lead to me. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, all right. <laughs> if you insist. This should be our third day, so I think. Oh, just a regular meal <laughs> Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Mm hmm. Let's go to the ring. Sure. If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the pancreation ring. Shall see. Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules, mind you. Wait, what? I was given very specific instructions. How do you know how strong we are? Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? Oh, I'm interested. And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. I'll give it a try. Okay, great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. Oh, the boxing goes. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. But the second you mess up the order, you'll lose. Game over. The game costs you uh, credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Sure. It's one, two, three. Okay. It's gonna get real complicated, isn't it? Wait, I hit this one. What? What? Ain't no way. They cheated me out. Bad. Not bad at all. Here, the coupons you won. Be sure not to lose them. Oh, let's forgot them anyways. Go so back to the dorm. Ah, we woke up so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. The day of the coupon. Ah, the dawn of a new day. Paimon feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you have planned for us? Uh, with the quest stage, I've got this insurgent quest to so advance the story. Hmm. With this quest stage, objectives, and certain quests. I guess so. Split the following objectives during your time in the Fortress of RP to advance. This. Okay, I see. So, yeah. Apply for continuous working shifts with the Greenville. Right, we just need to keep at it. I guess we probably wanted to get those extra credits from the, the ring. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. If possible, I'd like to apply for three continuous working uh -oh. days. What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Sh sure. Yeah. I just say we really want to test our limits. Okay, so now we're actually gonna go above and beyond. Nice, we did well today. Let's keep it up. Day one. That's all we have to. Do. That's that's so easy. Day two. Who knew that processing these widgets would be 
Come on, you're not doing anything. Uh, I'm the one doing the work. I, I mean, unless she is doing something. Huh? Oh, that's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Lunch time. <laughs> the slow fly. I keep seeing, I keep hearing chest open. Oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working non-stop for three days now? And now it's lunchtime! You're just not realizing that? Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. It's only when we go to sleep. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? That would be quite the disappointment. Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's eat. Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. Wait, what? What is that? What is it? Is this stuff meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre. What kind of chef would make food like this? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this meat. Uh, it looks kind of like... What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? Primordial something? Now our meals have this strange meat. No. Put Ryan behind the counter. True, that would have been what it looked like. Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about yeah, mostly, well, like, what is this? Look, does it seem normal to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and shout out. Now, Wolsey wouldn't even give us the time of day. The plot thickens. Yeah, looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. The strange meat. Strange welfare meat receives that they're violating the rules of the production plan. What would you like to do this afternoon? You gotta keep. Okay, oh, nope. See okay. Walk around and look for new leads. Clues. I wonder if this is like upstairs. Yep, it's upstairs. It's Roy oh, Jenkins. Hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so nervous. Sorry. I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I. Uh, are you that scared of him? Oh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. You want to take his place? What? P please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Okay, not much information there. Not much info there. Huh? Rowan? Uh, what are you doing here, Chief? Oh, uh, I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Huh, I wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. 
don't know why I said chef. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? She's gone too. Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the oh. half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegeween gets off to. This isn't just a coincidence. She's always absent during lunch. Huh. That's actually really strange. Seedream's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? <sighs> Forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. Hmm, okay, that's a pretty major clue. It's Deacon. Hey! It's the Traveler and Paimon. Hey, now you know who our, who our names are. So it's kind of cool. This will be completely different if you talk to him, like, rudely. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. he be like, oh, it's you two. Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. Huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. We actually came but through. When I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. <sighs> Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of his grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> oh, it's like a telltale game. Or like you make a decision and later on it actually benefits you. to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Enjoy? Oh, uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Uh, are you talking about pets or people? Maybe, uh, Sidreen wasn't exactly what I thought she was. <laughs> she also happened to be a vet uh, veterinarian as well as a head nurse. Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. What the heck? We Melazines are a different species. And oh, she is Melazine. very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh. Hmm. That does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes, running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Oh, okay. Alright. So is that like what I thought it was going to be? Or right, the way I thought? Really? Take care of your body. Make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. Hmm. Sick wings, looking after health. Very, uh, very, uh, focused on it, that's for sure. Very about it. I was looking like there was like some big twist there. I was like, oh man. Oh boy. I was say that's maybe not what I thought for a second there. Hey. Oop. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. That was part of it. Paimon likes having more coupons. But no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? Nope. I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. Wow. How is Lady holding up? My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. 
But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. <laughs> Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! We're gonna have all kinds of coupons. <laughs> the Lenny card. Hey, look! There's something here! Hmm, mm -hmm. looks like a research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Sea Dream? Oh, don't don't tell me. Don't do this. Don't do this, Hayo. At this point, you might as well uh, set a portable waypoint for your dormitory. That's a good idea, actually. He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. I think I don't have any though left. The Melusine perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Whoa, this all sounds pretty hmm. serious. He sure did his homework. Who's looking for the intel? And as for the notebook, let's take it. Let's steal it. It's mine now. Let me see. Nuts. I think I had one at the oh, boss, but it's pretty close. Investigating and go rest? It's time for a rest. Okay, you should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. So but after oh, okay. working a few days straight, we got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? Hmm. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? I think I've got something, but unfortunately it's how it led the child. Really? <sighs> and it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, traveler. The samsara repeats itself. What do you have planned for us? More work. Okay, let's go to the ring. Is this the samsara? I feel like we're... However... Repeating. You two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match, no, 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 have no, you? No, no, no. Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? By appearance. That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Yeah. I was just joking with the <laughs> second Sam Sarah. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. <laughs> That's just life in prison in general. Huh? We True. shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? <laughs> Could there be some kind of hidden rule? What? I... Oh, broke him up. Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. The hidden rules is what they're called, right? Uh, might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Hmm. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it that serious? <laughs> okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. Oh, no. Something bad. Oh, wait. He said, last guy said three days. He said next morning. Guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that 
How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. Disappearing? According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. Mm. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died, or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. Hmm. That's sus. So you mean, it's like, a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? Do you know anything about it? No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... We'll give it a try. I mean, I assume... Huh? We will? I mean, You're not serious, uh, are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Hmm. Going on back. We won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> the dawn oh. of a new day. My mom feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? See, like, even like this. That is the same line, like, when I said nothing ventured, nothing gained, or Paimon's like, I'm getting used to being a convict. What do you have planned for us? This one, I think, is fine, because that's just, like, the question each time. Uh... Go to the... Okay, after 3,000. Okay. It says go to the production zone, but I need to go to the ring. Okay, you got after working. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. Isn't this the super lucky meal? Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. It's the happy meal. Hyman's gonna take her time and save her every bite. Oh gosh. What would you like to do this afternoon? Deja vu. Dang, minus three thousand. Child, he must have been. Hmm. Revive at the ring. Hmm. Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. This voice sounds very familiar. Who are the boxers in the next round? Gosh, look at his arms. That's what Ido wish he had. <laughs> we have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Are those Le Grappler. Those names, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. <laughs> uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Batman, <laughs> first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick. Almost sounds like the voice actor for Buzz Lightyear. I'll buy tickets for both fighters. Huh? B for both fighters? Uh. I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. <laughs> clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more. Oh, no, 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 no need. need. All right, then, if you're Whoops. absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. 
Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupon. Oh, don't mess with him, Paimon. Knock you out. Dun, dun. So I'm assuming that went well, I guess? Seems we had a productive day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. Hmm. Uh. Paimon. Oh. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. What did we, what did we buy? We didn't buy anything. Huh? A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? <laughs> ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? That was a good, uh, idle animation fit. I didn't buy anything, unless this is... <gasps> Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. It's actually a packet of C4. Huh. Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. And I'm not talking about consolations. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Doesn't seem especially scary, but there is something odd inside. Huh? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, let Paimon take a peek too. Oh yeah, it's an invitation to Smash. Smash Bros. That would be a really cool, uh, like, segue. Oh no, it's wine. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Kool-Aid. Rumor has it that the Broxer went missing, and the liquid in the bottle is obviously... Ugh. Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Do you want to give it a sniff or a taste? That's some Trailblaze uh, Star Rail commentary right there. That's what that is. Oh, but no Switch prison though. Rip. True. So we gotta investigate. This place is chock full of strange things uh, happening. Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? This is really weird, actually. Strange blooded, blood colored fluid. Hmm. What do you have planned for us? What do we have planned this time? Slack off a little. Less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. Hmm. Walk around, look for clues. Promoter. Uh, if there's no way to send it all out, then maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I I'm not. Of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. Then what are you doing here? I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting Fontico. our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Uh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that duke. Somebody fill all your drinks with red substance? After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. Rip. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just going to stop you there and say no. <laughs> if anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you that are voice from the world. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. I want to hear Rizzy talk like this. But as for the latter, 
Only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid, that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. Hmm. Worthless. <sighs> anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about hmm. that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. Physically. Oh, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules. <laughs> Only idiots. Hey, what are these papers scattered all over the ground? Are they registration forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fontico symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Let's take a look before anyone else shows up. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? What are you afraid of? We're already convicted criminals. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. Mm. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh... Let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. Alright, so Fanta. Fanta and Co. Right! Hey, I, I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't ya? Well... Well, the next day we received a mysterious package. But we still haven't made any sense of the content. <laughs> so it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, <laughs> did you? Are, are you both still okay? Wait. Are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? Uh, Paimon's not sure. <laughs> what do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Uh, only you'd ever ask the question. I'm pretty sure it's you. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your cure. How many do we have? Oh, do I have Curiosity? Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. Mm. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Pylon thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. <laughs> Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first. Hoping to promote Fanta products in the Fortress of Meropede. I understand. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? Got the more information from the ring. And I think that's it for this area. Yep. Looking for clues. Welfare meals. Okay. This stream was brought to you by Fontico. This stream was sponsored by Fonta. Okay. True. Huh. We ended up here without even thinking about it. Wanna grab something to eat? Let's see. 
let's end the shift. All right, but remember that we fought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. Now we're back at the dorm. No. What is this garbage? Ooh, it looks disgusting. Oh, Paima misses your cooking now. Now we, we lost a lot of money. What would you like to do this afternoon? Uh, what do we do? After working here so long, we're really like doing the same thing all the time. Maybe I should yeah, like quit good. for one day. Mysterious box, a bottle of crimson liquid. Oh, Paimon still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? I think I got something, but unfortunately it's not like the channel. Really? Investigation let us know where. Well, maybe we'll have better luck. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise, we'll never get anywhere. Spend some coupons to skip our shift so we can go yeah, investigate. Let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. Hmm. We did it! We're free! We're free from the stages. Free from jail. Well, not yet. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Don't say Shirley. Seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. We actually only have like a thousand. We're getting by. Impressive. Very impressive. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know. I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. So, this line was, like, being said as they were showing Risley in the trailer. And I think that made me think that's how he sounded. So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? <laughs> Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Also had me thinking it was him talking. A group of cannibals. In the pipes? Hannibal's? In the fortress of Meripede? I knew Sidwine. She was a cannibal now. Cannibals. Every month they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. Dang, it's gonna aim. But what's even scarier <laughs> is that they have a special proclivity. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains. They have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Other forms? Uh, Paima might already know what you mean by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. Ugh. Is that, or is that really true? There's still a chance that they were, they, there's still a chance that what we saw isn't going to be the cannibals. You two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Oh, well, thanks, sweet doc. You gave me the most the most interesting information there is yet. Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity. Hmm. 
Even if it's true, do you really think the animals could take me in a fight? Uh, yes. Oh, so that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Just like before, let's get ready to investigate another hidden rule. Oh, when will all the secrets end? I'm actually antsy. I actually want to get out of this prison. Get me out. Get me out. Vito oh. Here. No. Well, the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them. Rip. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. Just saying? <laughs> Just st All right, well, that went well. Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. Could they be connected to the cannibals? But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. Let's approach it from a different angle. Let's approach it from a different angle. Probably never get it out. Probably never get anything out of these guys. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? This is true. Oh, it's a bit higher. Yeah. I think this is actually the better place to go. Quit following me. Hello, Fielding. Fielding. What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. So you can get back to work tomorrow. Uh, well... You see, sometimes we hear strange noises at night. Right! We heard it happens a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? And they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want. And if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Oh, okay. Then we'll hmm. keep both ears out tonight. All right. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Don't worry. We don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> How many days has it been? Oh, like five or six. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Those might be the days when the cannibals are active. Right. Both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. No reason not to find out the truth ourselves. I knew you would say that. Alright, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. Quake. Oh, I'm so tired. But we can't sleep yet. They'll be cleaning the pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. Just need to wait for. Eh. Just need to wait to. I was like trying to yawn as I was speaking. Just need to wait until everyone else falls asleep. <sighs> Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes off. Oh. Worried something might happen if you go alone. We're dozing off too. Huh? Traveler, did you fall asleep already? Mm mm mm. 
There it is again. What are we going to see this time? Running? Just out in the open? No, nope, never mind. Okay. Don't even, don't even have, there's no like cage or anything like that. We just have dorms, huh? Are they working with them or? Hmm. Traveler, come on, wake up! So that was like right here, right now. I, I saw a child in my dream again. Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping, the Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? He escaped via the pipes. Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. <laughs> what about the cannibals? How do you explain them? Birds, yeah. <laughs> right here, right now. I sure. I shall find out more soon enough. Okay, well, it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. I <laughs> love the question mark. Emerge? Ah, yes. The good old pipes. Let's escape! Go to where the pipes are. Oh, the rainbow. <laughs> I'm always watching. <laughs> Just all of the eye ones. <sighs> Nothing lasts forever. Uh. Right. Careful! We'll get in trouble if the guards catch us. Oh, you're right. You're totally right there, Paimon. Yeah, it's a good call. That's a very good call. I don't have like a sneak option? No? Wait, maybe... Maybe it's like a traveler thing. There's still a long... No, usually you'd already be a traveler if that was the case. They got rid of the sneaking stuff. Oh! Stealthily. The pipes that way. Yep, I see him. Hmm, this should be the place. Stealthily. I'm out of here. What? I know you. You were the ones we saw. You guys were mean to me. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? For the pipe pals. You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. I mean, we just want to walk through. Enough with the theatrics. What you say? You heard me. Yeah. So what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories, and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. Oh, you guys. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. There's someone calling me. I have to go. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? Boss? Hey, do you know our boss? Yeah, uh, you know, that guy. Oh, we had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. Oh, he was the master. So, did he have you come here to find us? Hmm. 
Yeah, they even showed him crouching. Yeah, they did. They showed him crouching in the trailer. That's why I was thinking we were going to do that right there. Maybe late. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow I missed an opportunity from High Earth. I thought we were going to get a similar stealth mission like in Mondstadt, the Cathedral. Yeah, I thought the exact same thing. The range false charges. Yeah, right here. So that you may secretly investigate. I guess the trailer actually really did debate us. Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. In more ways than one. I'm a friend of his. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that, hmm. all right, I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Hmm. Wow, those dreams of yours sure come in handy. We gave him the business for a while Sass. and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the fortress of Maripede. But here in the fortress, the strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. He could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So the Harbinger is not too strong to fight, but we are too strong to fight? So eventually, we all decided to follow him. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. Hmm. Yeah, it could be somewhere else, true. Yeah, it could be like his, his story quest, maybe. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on the mm. night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow. It sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. Through rumors. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? The cannibal rule. Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. It leads to an abandoned factory area. And even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But boss still insisted on going in it's like he was obsessed about it he's a well so we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone and that if he wanted to come back he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day that way we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up so you come and wait here through that the is... night a few times a month just because of that promise that is dedication yeah but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, doesn't he mean rumor? Because the rule would be, there's, uh, you have to be, like, cannibals would have to have a rule. <laughs> but, I don't know. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? Mistype. Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. <laughs> The cannibal rule. Make sure you save some for the rest of us. Okay, okay. Pina was just brainstorming possibilities. Uh, we want to go to the spot where he left. All right. Keep quiet and follow us. Hmm. <laughs> Escape. The way up from there. here has been okay. sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. He uses it's powers. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. I know a good diver. But unfortunately, he's still in the water dry. Really? Then have him come investigate. Pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going! So we're gonna send not worry about Lynette and Lenny? I guess not. Oh, no, I guess not. I guess we are. <sighs> we finally learned some key information. Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off. 
When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremenet, right? No, knew what? Glimmy, he'll definitely have Fremenet help us. Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. Hmm. Oh, let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, Traveler! Oh. That was Act 3? Uh, it's morning Wait, what? already. Oh, still needs more sleep. That was, uh, you're right. That was an abrupt ending. What the heck? <laughs> 